Hey guys, so I picked up on DJI Action 4. Um, so I wanted to do a video side by side, uh, you know, to test the quality, the video quality with iPhone 14 Pro, man. Yo, the result was quite surprising, man. But um, I'm not going to say too much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you what I have found out, right? So, all right. So the video that you're watching right now, this video right now was filmed uh, with my iPhone 14 Pro. So what I have noticed, the video has a lot of details. It's very clear. You know, the sun was up. It was during around like uh, noon or 1 p.m. You know, the location was decent. So there's a lot of details. That's one thing that I noticed about these um, videos. A lot of details. Like, I was shocked. And by the way, I'm using the ProRes resolution. I think that was ProRes at uh, 25. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, I can't remember that. But, um, you know, the details were there. But the colors was, you know, it wasn't too colorful. Right? It was not too colorful. So it seems like the colors were not that bright. But um, I'm okay with the, 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 the quality, though. The quality looks super dope to me. I was not expecting that. Once I finished filming it, I put on my phone. I mean, I watched my phone. I watched the video on my phone. I was like, whoa, whoa, this ProRes is like crazy, right? So that was about it. So, all right, so the next video, right? This video here, I actually took it with my DJI Action 4. So one thing I noticed about the video, the video does not have a lot of details as iPhone 14 Pro. But the good thing about this white angle, right? The white angle is really dope, and the um the colors you can see the colors are much brighter than the iPhone 14 Pro. Another thing about um the DJI uh, Action 4, uh, the video image stabilization is way much better than iPhone. I mean, you can you can get the same um quality of uh, image stabilization if you use um the gimbal on your iPhone. But this one, you don't need a gimbal. And another thing about um, the Action 4, one thing I didn't really like, it missing a lot of details compared to the uh, iPhone 14 Pro. iPhone has uh, much details than the Action 4. But uh, at the end of the day, it still looks decent to me. It just depends what you're doing. But the good thing about it, um, the, the Action 4, you can actually film longer compared to iPhone with the Pro. If you're doing Pro Res, I think you have a limitation of eight minutes, maybe ten minutes max. So with this one, you know, if you have a um your your SD card is is you know capacity is really big, you can film for a long time. So all right, so the next video, as you guys can see right now, this is a uh, nighttime, uh, low lights. It was around one a.m. So I'm using my iPhone in this video. Oh, the quality looks decent to me. Can't complain. It's super low lights at night. You know, same settings as the one I use during the daytime. Um, the video quality, yeah, that's something I can work with at night with iPhone. Imagine if I add on, um, you know, a little bit of lights, I should be getting on um, decent quality video. Um, yeah, I was impressed, man. I was impressed because I was not really expecting the iPhone to do that well at night uh it's a little blurry but like i said it was super dark at night like 1 a.m at night super dark only only the only thing that you see those like street lights like there's not even no street lights behind me was dark the background was dark behind me so yeah i'll say that was um that was decent uh i can't complain about it for iphone 14 pro that's a good quality for low lights so the next video, all right? So this video here right now, as you can see, that's me using the Action 4, nighttime, same exact exact time, same exact place, you know, settings all the same. But I was shocked because the Action 4 was a little blurry in my opinion. I didn't change any settings. Same settings that I used during the daytime, that's the same settings that I use uh, night, 1 a.m. at night. Um, so when I turn on the the uh, action four, 
uh, was that uh, the low light was activated, you know, was activated automatically. And for some reason, I thought the quality would be better with the Action 4. But to my surprise, I think the iPhone won over the Action 4 for low lights, uh, especially at nighttime, right? Um, yeah, it's, I don't know why it was kind of blurry. I don't know. Stabilization is great, but it was kind of blurry to me. It was moving a little too much. It seems like the lens had a hard time to focus at night. So, anyways, so the next clip, this clip, I took the outside to film objects, you know, flowers. Um, so this one I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro. As I can zoom, as you see, I'm zooming right now. Uh, the good, the cool thing about the 14 Pro when you zoom in, you can tap in on the screen to focus on the subject you want to focus on. So the quality, especially when you zoom in, the quality was really good. I like that. But when it's not in zoom, you know, it missed a little bit of details. You know what I mean? But um, overall, oh, it was too decent, though. I still enjoy it. So, all right. So let's move over this one here right now. I'm using the Action 4, right? Action 4. The only thing about Action 4, I couldn't, you know, once you, you get close to the subject, you lose... Um, um you lose focus right once you guess you get close to the subjects you lose a bit a bit of focus so that's the only thing that um the only thing that i noticed but the color the colors were much uh, stronger i would say and brighter than on uh, iphone 14 so that's the I, that happened with the um, uh with my face too at the beginning of the video so it seems like um the Action 4 has very, very powerful colors. Like, the colors are really popping compared to the iPhone. So, it just depends, you know, what you're using that for. But um, overall, I think they both great. It just depends, like I say, it just depends on what you're trying to do. You know, but both are fine to use. So, I, I, you should not have any issue with that. Especially if you add a little bit of light, you should be good to do a lot of things. I was just surprised that the iPhone couldn't take that, you know, good quality videos like that i never tried it before but i think the pro race does it all you know it's a great option to have other than that I'll catch you next time i'm out